Easter Bonnet Parade by Bill Scullin. The Easter Bonnet Parade is coming up, and Minnie's boutique has never been busier. Just about everyone will be wearing one of our bow-tastic bonnets, Minnie says. Isn't it exciting, Daisy? Sure, says Daisy, but I'm frazzled. We're making hats non-stop. I'm worn out just from watching you, says Cuckoo Loka. Well, you can both relax, says Minnie. This is the last bonnet. The next day, Minnie's customers come to get their hats. That does it, says Daisy. The last bonnet has been picked up. Thank goodness, Minnie says. I think we used up every bit of ribbon we had. Suddenly, Clarabelle shouts, All done? Oh my, says Minnie. We've been so busy, I forgot you were here. What happened to all the fancy noggin toppers? Clarabelle asks. They've been picked up, says Minnie. Do you have a hat for the parade? No, Clarabelle says. I plum forgot all about it. We only have these two bonnets left, Minnie says. But Minnie, Daisy whispers, those are for you and me. Oh, says Clarabelle, I'm not feeling too polka dotty. Daisy covers her eyes. I can't bear to watch. And purple really isn't my color, Clarabelle says. Thank goodness, says Daisy. I guess I just waited too long, says Clarabelle. Don't worry, Clarabelle, says Minnie. You will have a hat for the Easter Bonnet Parade. You can pick it up in the morning. Really? says Clarabelle. Why, thank you, Minnie. But we're all out of supplies, remember? says Daisy. I'm sure we can find enough odds and ends, Minnie says. You can use my bandanas, says Kukuloka. Look, Daisy says. Figaro brought a ball of yarn. Minnie's nieces help, too. Melody brings seashells, and Millie gives Minnie a heart-shaped jewel. Before long, Clarabelle's bonnet takes shape. Now, let's all get some rest, Minnie says. The parade starts early tomorrow. The next morning, Minnie and Daisy can't find Clarabelle's bonnet anywhere. Maybe she picked it up early, says Daisy. Look, cries Cuckoo Loka, someone left a note. Cuckoo Loka reads the note. It says, thanks for the hat. I hope you didn't need it. Oh no, cries Daisy. Clarabelle will be here any minute. We have to make a new bonnet, Minnie says. Hurry, grab whatever isn't nailed down. Minnie grabs a tray, a flower pot, some fabric, scraps of ribbon, a bunch of posies, even the heart-shaped knobs off the furniture. Minnie and Daisy race to put together a bonnet. That does it, Minnie says. Nice work, says Cuckoo Loka. Just then, Clarabelle comes through the door. Here's your bonnet, Minnie says sweetly. Oh golly, you must have worked all night, says Clarabelle. You have no idea, Cuckoo Loka mutters. Clarabelle picks up the hat. Why, it's just lovely. Minnie, whispers Daisy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's missing that certain something, says Minnie, but I'm just not sure what. Suddenly, Cuckoo Loka flies over and lands on the bonnet. I glued these flowers on, Clarabelle, she says. Do you like them? Cuckoo Loka, Daisy exclaims, would you please get down? That's it, says Minnie. Clarabelle, look in the mirror. Why, it's wonderful, says Clarabelle. Cuckoo Loka, you're the perfect finishing touch, says Minnie. I am? asks Cuckoo Loka, staring at herself. Oh, I am. Time to go, says Clarabelle. The parade is about to begin. The whole town turns out for the Easter Bonnet Parade. Hot dog, says Mickey. Your bonnets look great, Minnie. Yeah. And the hats are pretty too, adds Goofy. There's just one thing I'd like to know, says Daisy. What happened to the missing bonnet? Minnie laughs. Take a look behind you. Daisy turns around. 
There, at the very end of the Easter bonnet parade, is Pete. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Daisy, he calls. Thanks for the hat. Minnie and Daisy wave. You're welcome, they say. Somehow, Minnie, you did it again, says Daisy. Minnie giggles. Like I always say, there's no business like the bow bonnet business.